welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green, the Wednesday night edition. That is the string to the bow. I have this little tie bow, this little string is sticking up weird. Okay, it's so funny that I don't do like a mirror check before the camera rolls because, you know, all the reasons. Um, and then I get the camera comes on and I'm like, oh my gosh, my, my bangs and my whatever. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Enough about that. Here we go. So I am going to start with a little PSA. I will never reach out to you. Please do not get scammed. We all work hard for our money. Don't let anybody tell you they're me um, and get scammed. I am on most social media platforms. I am uh, on just very many uh, uh, venues, but I will never reach out to anyone. And I will never tell you you need, you know, a reading or anything. If you need one, you know, and you will go to my website and book one, which is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. It's the only website I have. So we just have that out of the way. Okay, for tonight's show, I will be taking callers and answering, answering questions in the chat. If you have a question, you can place it in the chat on YouTube if you're watching me live, or you can call in 845-277-9131, and I'll be happy to answer a question for you about love, life, career, finances, any aspect of life at all. Yes. Or if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side. And I want to get right into it tonight because, well, first, I've been getting so many messages all day long. And um, oh, my goodness. So the one thing that they wanted to talk me to talk about tonight is why are we here? And. I know my bangs are messed up. I don't even care anymore. I'm just, I don't care what I look like for the rest of the show. If my bangs mess up, if my lipstick ends up on my teeth, if my, see, look at that, like that. I, don't, I can't even anymore. I'm going to focus on what they want me to tell you. So, and when I say they, I mean angels. Um, hey, Patrick, Rebecca, Maris, um, Heather. I, hi, everybody. How are you? Um, uh, uh, thank you, Patrick. I hope you had an amazing birthday, Patrick. Um, so why are we here? It's one of, one of the questions I get asked the most, and I'm going to kind of start at the end and work my way back. Okay. If there's any part of this you don't agree with, that's okay. Take that part out and listen to the rest. Okay. Don't, don't worry about one thing you don't agree with. Like if you don't believe in life after life, then just ignore that part of it and just take it as one life. Okay. Because we only experience one life at a time. So who cares about the past life or the, the future life or whatever, just focus on this one. Right. Okay. And we have no proof or evidence except for all those little kids from other countries that talk about their past lives. And then there's evidence of them. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm going to start at the end and work my way back. Kind of. I'm, I might go back and forth. I'm going to do whatever spirit wants me to do here. So we're just going to get started. So why are you here? Love. Now that there's such a simple answer, right? And it's such a basic answer. So when we leave our body, and I've left my body many times, um, I've had three near-death experiences. And especially during the last one, I have so much recall of just feeling this love that probably it's very difficult to have here because it's a love without fear. It's a, it doesn't matter what happens next. I'm okay. 
It doesn't matter what's going on. I'm okay. It's, it's that kind of love. Okay. And the idea is to have that kind of love in your everyday life, no matter what anybody says or does or how they behave towards you or what, what's coming at you financially, physically to just have that. I'm taken care of. It's all good. Now, if you believe in life after life, that's where this part comes in. Our goal is not about this life, although it is. Our goal is our final ascension. And some of this is even going to be new to me tonight because I am going to be channeling and taking in new information for you. Our goal is our final ascension, which will not happen on this plane. So when people pass, we always say, oh, my mom's an angel now. It's possible in your eyes. Absolutely. One of the things I'm understanding is that we go through these lives and we go through these, I'm going to call them lessons, experiences. And then we are supposed to learn self-love and other love from them, not condemning or blaming ourselves or anybody else in any way for anything that happens. And in doing so, we have understanding. And we all say, I don't want to return to earth. <laughs> if there is reincarnation, please do not send me back to earth. <laughs> Apparently, earth is like... Not a good tourist place for souls. We don't want to come back here. Okay, in order to not come back to earth, we have to ascend while we're on earth. According to them, I don't care what you do. You can do whatever you want to do. Hmm? Yep. You can take as many go-rounds this big thing called earth as you want. Okay. So while we're here, the sooner we connect with or adapt to, this is all about understanding. So when something happens, you go, okay, this person did this because of that. And I understand it. And I have no emotion about it now, the more we ascend. So in our next life, we will ascend. If you believe in next lives, we will ascend to a higher being, higher place, higher statue, but we come in with no memory. So we, we are still working from the learning and the understanding phase. Okay. Um, the final goal, however, is to be an ascended, like an ascended master that watches over peeps that are still ascending here. So to get to that point, you must... You must, you don't have to go through it. You don't, you don't have to have all the experiences of all the things. You just have to have understanding of both sides without judgment, which is really difficult for us because, because we are in a place where we must decide red, blue, black, white, uh, beef turkey I don't know I'm just making up things now um whatever it is that we must decide like uh there's they had there's this perceived division and we we always choose we have to make a choice of I'm right you're wrong but what if neither one of us are wrong what if we're both right and we're both wrong? Or what if there is no right and there is no wrong? Which is what I always say. There is no right. There is no wrong. There just is. It's an experience and it just happened. And when, this is a perfect example. When we break up with someone, we're so quick to help us move on. We're so quick to say, well, this person did A, B, and C, and it hurt me. Okay, why did you let them do that? What allowed you to go that far down that road? 
what was your perceived outcome and the real outcome didn't match it? What was your uh, t- takeaway? And and if you love yourself unconditionally, and I know this is really hard for people to hear and understand, but if you love yourself 100% unconditionally, no one can hurt you because you know who you are. You stand strong in you, who you are. And no matter what anybody else says or does, you understand that's an action from them and their perception, and it, it's not about you. But but on this plane, we make a lot of things about us that are not about us. So if somebody cheats on us or we think they cheated on us, it becomes, oh, my God, they did this horrible thing to me. No, they, they really didn't. You know what they did? They did something we can call it selfish, but it's not even, they did what they do. And then we took on a role of that. Or if somebody yells at you, and I know there are plenty of extreme examples, people would love to scream at me right now. And we can talk about those. I'll be happy to talk about any of those extreme examples. But the further we are from self-love, unconditional self-love, not egoic self-love, the more examples that will come in for us to experience to put us back into that place of self-love. Now, the the closer that we are in self-love, the more we're aligned with people who are also closely in that self-love place, And the more they will reinforce that self-love, there will still be things we're learning until we get to that, what people call the Buddha, the Christ state, the whatever state, right? And then, but that, that, but, but we're still, we're still going and learning. And so those people who get to that point when they do do their final crossover there's this from what i'm understanding right here right now first time sharing it with y'all sorry there is this uh, this thing that happens to them they leave their body and they understand human behavior quite explicitly and they understand human um human being here human behavior in a way that there is no right there is no wrong there is no judgment nobody ever did anything bad to anybody there is no division and they can they can before they even leave their flesh of this body which the flesh is just the illusion before they even leave their flesh of this uh, their last uh, lifetime they know and they see and they have the complete understanding we are one there's no separation there was never any separation everything that was happening is what was in my mind and it was playing out in front of me until all conflict within me was healed all conflict within me was resolved All of the past was resolved. Everything that I thought was bad was not. Everything I thought that was good was not. And then here I am now in the space where I see I have been the projector, projecting all of these scenes, and now I only project understanding. And then they get to what you call home, heaven, whatever you would like to call it. And then in that space, in that beautiful, magnificent space. They have everything they need and we help them or you, whomever, to take the next step to then help others come to that space in their mind where they see this. And that is your purpose. That is why you're here. That is the whole thing. So if we were to say to you, Everything that is happening outside of you is because of something in your mind. You would scream at us and say, no, I would never want these wars. No, 
I would never want a division. No, I would never want whatever it is that you do not want. And it's not that you want those specific things, but someplace inside of you, there is a conflict. And that conflict presents like A, B, a C, a D, well, however. And when you resolve all internal conflict and you are at total peace with yourself and total peace with yourself only, you will be at peace with every person in the world, no matter what they do or say. Do you guys see those lights flashing? Oh God. If you are not watching the show, watch the show. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Once you get to that place of total peace, once you get to that place of knowing and understanding, Everything, everything happens beautifully in front of you. Oh, how's that, folks? How is that? Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Joanna. I hope that was good, you guys. If you still want me to do names and songs, let me know in the chat. I'll be happy to do names and songs. Um, if you want me to go straight to questions, let me know. I'll be happy to go straight to questions. I hope you guys, hey, Sal, I hope you guys love that. Um, and it was, it worked for you. Um, and I, if you have questions about that, please post those questions. Let me, let me know. Okay. Uh, Rebecca said yes. Names and songs. <laughs> Sing beautiful lady. <laughs> Heather says yes. Okay. So the one song I've been getting all day long um, is Sweet Caroline. Boom, boom, boom. And I don't know any other <laughs> words to that song. That is all they've been singing all day long. Okay. I'm going to go in. I'm, I'm going to shorten the songs and the names today. But remember, if you hear a song and somebody on the other side loved that song, you love that song, it's answering a question or you used to listen to whatever it means for you. It's your song. It can be a million people's songs at once. So Sweet Caroline, obviously one of them. The next song that I'm getting, let me get it. I'm getting the name Bobby. I, the songs and the names are going to be co-mingling today. Um, that doesn't mean Bobby is singing Sweet Caroline. It just means I'm giving it to you as I get it tonight. I'm getting the name Antoinette. I'm getting the name Mar Marlene, Marlene, Marlena, Mar. Marlene or Marlena, Lania, Marlania, I, I'm anything like that. I'm getting the name Switch, S-W-I-T-C-H. Yeah, that's Switch, right? I'm thinking that might just be a nickname. I don't know, but I'm going to say yes. Okay, the next song I'm getting... Red Rover, Red Rover. It's like, that's not a song song, but you're going to know if you know that's that's for you. Um, I'm getting the name Jesse. I'm getting the name Barbara or Barb. I'm getting the name Mick. I see Mikhail or Michaela Michael. I'm just going to say all three in case. I don't want to be wrong. Annette, Rosemary, Rose and Mary. It could be Rosemary or Rose and then the name Mary. I'm again with this name. I love saying this name. <laughs> I love saying this name. Alejandro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, okay. And then for songs, I'm getting um, just Lawrence Welk. Again with Lawrence Welk. I'm getting In the Ghetto by Elvis Presley. 
Out of cold and dark Chicago, a little bit of baby boy is born in the ghetto. I can't do that. In the ghetto, God, stop me! Somebody, please, God, stop me! Oh my God! Oh. And then the next song. <laughs> the next song. I'm getting it. We go from in the ghetto to I still haven't found what I'm looking for with YouTube, who I always accidentally call YouTube. Um, and then um, Suicide Blonde, and then I'm getting, um, and for the Suicide Blonde, and I can't, that's all I'm hearing right now. And then I'm getting the song, um, any other songs? I hear two. Bring them. Oh, won't you stand by me? Oh, oh, I can't do that. Stand by me. Okay, so that song. Oh, my God, I love this next song. Sitting on the dock of the bay. I, uh, something, something, something. Roll away. Man, those last two. Good stuff. Okay, we are going to go to callers. I'm going to go back and forth between callers and questions in um, watching the tide roll away. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, watching the tide roll away. Um. Okay, uh, Joanna's getting lots of confirmations. Hey, David, how are you? Yep, watching the tide roll away. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm gonna if I get more songs, if 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 you if you if you ask a question or you call in and I get a song, I'm gonna sing it. It could be for you. It could also be for other people that are listening. Okay. Um, so please know that, um, and I will give you a song, even if I just hear it straight out the gate, because the songs always mean something. And I am getting um, a confirmation for someone that their loved one is with them, or a confirmation for somebody. This Somebody is just saying, say dandelions, say dandelions, say dandelions. So whom, and okay, so remember everybody, this show airs on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, all the Rude Rangers um, streaming channels, radio stations, podcasts, um, WSCS, all of their streaming channels, all the podcasts I have it on, blog talk, YouTube, it's everywhere. And it airs at different times. So even if it's not for you directly, it's for someone, someplace out there that's 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 going to be um, watching. Uh, 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 maybe they can't watch it live, but they get the repeat. So dandelions, um, and then sunflowers too. Sunflowers and the, the but the orange, like an orangish red sunflower I would love to see one of those not in a picture but like you know up close in person that would be really pretty okay hey mystic raven how are you david okay I'm gonna go to the first caller who is 352 thank you for your patience 352 what's your name and where are you calling from hello Tony this is Joanna from Florida hmm. hey how are you Hi, I think I think my mother was coming through quite loud. All those references, uh, a lot of them were my mother. Uh, I, spot on. I love that, and you've been sitting here waiting for so long, so so patiently, and I don't <laughs> doubt it, not one bit. Okay, uh, Joanne, Joanna, wow. what's your mother's name? Her, her, actually. Barbara is a big family name. Her name is Diana Barbara Elizabeth is her two middle names, Barbara and Elizabeth. First name Diana. Okay. But my father just passed on Friday. So that's that's my question is about I have a question about him. <laughs> okay, what's what's your question about your father love? 
my my father passed away on Friday suddenly, but he was in a nursing home. There was nothing in place, to my understanding, like no paperwork or anything to put anybody in charge or will or anything. Um, I don't know what to do because I know what I went through with my siblings with my mother's passing. So I don't know if I should just walk away or try to, you know, claim any inheritance. I'm, you know, I'm torn between what I should do, honestly. Okay. Um, I'm getting an answer and I'm going to say it and I'm trying to get the whole answer before I start blurbing things out of my mouth, which I do all the time, blurb things out of my mouth. So what I'm getting is when you say, should I walk away? I get a no. I, I hear there's going to be negotiation. And I think after everything that happened with your mom's passing, this, I think some people have learned um, those who are crafty have learned to be craftier. <laughs> yeah. um, but, yes. but that doesn't mean walk away. Make a list of everything you can think of with what we would call the estate, any property, uh, um, meaning even things, trinkets like watches and such. Make a list and then, you, you know, it's such a delicate situation. When my mom passed, my mom didn't have a, a lot she didn't um but when we were cleaning out her apartment i don't know oh gosh i can't believe this is gonna this is gonna i'm gonna try to say this um we made an agreement in cleaning out her apartment where we said okay if if there's anybody that wants anything we just say does anybody else want this and then and if not we you, you can be the person who has it. But if so, then, then, you know, yeah. be, between you guys. So I'm getting like that kind of thing, like kind of try to make a list or, or before it even starts kind of say, okay, everybody pick one or two of the most important things to them and try to negotiate it out. So it's not a feeding frenzy for the piranhas is what I mean. but let everybody know like listen yeah. we we want use words like we we want to be respectful to each other let's all try to um help each other make sure we're getting what is important to each other i do feel like there's a financial uh let me say this appropriately I do feel like there's a financial aspect to this that should not be overlooked. So I do think if it's possible for you or you can, you should look at the financial, try to figure out what the financial aspect is. Like if there were savings, um, up, up, what do they call that? Uh, Patrick would know. Like a, a portfolio or if there's a home, just try to say we're gonna we're gonna add everything together and try to divide it as equally as possible once we have like the bottom line amount. And don't let anybody say here's what I'm getting from both of them. Don't let anybody say, well, it needs to be divided between, you know, I have five kids, so and there's six people in my family, so we count as six. Uh, hell to the no. Hell no. Hell to the mother. No. <laughs> hell no. Uh, the way this goes down is um, adult children only um, would be yeah. the divisible I parties in this. And then from there... Anybody who doesn't agree, and you can say if anybody, you know, have an agreement and try to do everything in, in email or text form so nobody has that verbal reaction immediately, but say, you know, anybody who is disrespectful or um, doesn't agree to this will make all, the rest of us will make the decisions and let you know what the final outcome is. Because we're not going to argue over what's left over, if that makes sense, in, in your verbiage, of course. Okay, La? Whew. Yes, thank you. Bless you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, love. And uh, thank you for calling in. 
I'm really grateful for that. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the night. Oh, you too. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm getting the name. You guys, I'm getting the name Ar Ariana or Ariana, however you want to say that. Um, I'm getting that name in very strongly. But here's the weird thing about this name. Hey, Kathy. Um, thank you. The weird thing about this name, there may be many Arianas or Arianas that are this is someone that's on the other side, but it's not somebody who, it could be somebody who recently passed, but I feel like it's somebody who's about to come in. Yeah, I feel like there's a Ariana that's about to come in, like a, you know, a, <laughs> I don't know how to rock a baby, apparently. <laughs> Because I never had one. <laughs> like a baby, I think you would maybe rock like, Okay, like that. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Okay. I feel like <laughs> it's a baby about to come in. Okay. Okay. So Ariana or Ariana. If somebody's thinking about that, that may, that that's what I'm, it is what it is. And there, that's what I'm sticking to. I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 504. And if you would like to call in the numbers 845-277-9131 or put your question in the chat, 504, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Louisiana. And I was just calling if you could give me a message, like a spiritual message. Sure, Louisiana. What's your first name? Oh, Debbie. Debbie. Okay, Hi. Debbie. Typically, I like to uh, have an exact question, but for you, because it just takes me a little bit longer if they're going to give you a willy nilly message. And sometimes people don't like their willy nilly messages because it's more of a you need <laughs> to blah, 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 blah. You need to get your finances in order. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. But okay, Debbie, I'm going to do it for you since you don't have a exact question. Um, Thank you. I felt like there's one. That's why I never asked for that, but I feel like there's one. Like a a spiritual message. Okay, so yeah. Debbie, the first thing I'm hearing, and it cracked me. I happen to love this song. It's that song, um, "Take Me to Church," and I'll worship like a something. I know, I know the words. I'm just not going to say them, but I just love that song. And I love that raspy voice on that man, that deep raspy voice. Um, if you don't know the song, Google it or just put it in YouTube or whatever. I, it's, I just love that song. That's the first thing I'm hearing with your message. So what I'm getting, and I'm going to say this in a blanket sort of way, if they want to hone it in, I will let them hone it in. Debbie, you need to get on your manifestation game. You need to play with your personal. Oh, no. You need to play with your personal manifesting, manifestation, <laughs> manifesting magic. You need, and I call manifesting when we are creating. I call that magic. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, and I hope that people, you know, there's there's good magic, bad magic all day long. And what I'm going to say to you, and I'm going to try to get this out, you know, we are from the most amazing creator there is. And one of the things that we're here to do is create and co-create with others, with our creator, with our, our ancestors. We're just supposed to wake up every morning and go, what can I create today? What can I create today? What can, even if it's a freaking cake, just send me some. Aww. No, no matter what it is, we are supposed to be always have our mind in that space where we're thinking about what we can create. Now, some people get really nervous when we say, what do you want? Because they feel like that we haven't been taught that it's okay to want really big things and want to just get it. We have been taught it's okay. We, we, for some reason, that's just not the way it, it's been. But what they're saying to you Instead of if it's uncom whatever term or way that you say it that makes you question it, change the term 
Okay, and this is let me let me get through this because I know what they're trying to say. Excuse me, everybody. I'm trying to say it the way that they need and want to say it to you. So if like you're saying your prayers at night or you're manifesting meditation or however you do it and you say, I really want a jet ski. I make it, I'm just making it up. I, I just something to put out there. And then you start okay. saying if it's okay or or if it's not too much or okay and you start questioning that stop and know that if something comes to your mind it is one million zillion quadrillion percent meant for you and don't think they, they make millions of jet skis there are millions of jet skis all over and you could get one for free if that's truly what you manifested and wanted i know i I've, I've I don't like to say it on air because people just start to throw judgment my way, but you wouldn't believe the things that I have manifested. Now, what I am going to say is whatever it is, just know that if it's being brought into your mind that you need to use verbiage, first of all, that makes you comfortable. And second of all, don't say it in a way where um, you're leaving it like if it's okay or if it's not too much nothing is too much for them i mean they created the earth right and everything in it and on it and blah 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 so just say it like it's already yours and visual you have to visualize it visualize it and it's so funny whenever i say visualize it in a way of in your mind my fingers automatically go to my third eye that all seeing eye where all our projections and the way I can say that is in our brain or our mind. And if you're watching, um, you're seeing this, but if you're not, I'm, I'm going to explain it because there are a lot of people that can only listen to the show. So sorry, folks. Um, in our mind is the, is our, um, like where we are making our movie of our life in our mind right here. We're creating a movie. And then when we come up with that final synopsis or that final what we believe the movie is going to look like, it's either a repeat of the past or a generation, gener, gener, we're generating a new vision for the future, okay? So we're either recycling an old movie like um, Weekend at Bernie's number five, Nobody wants to see that, folks. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Or we're coming out with a new blockbuster, and we're the star of it, and we're, pro we're, we're creating it here. We're doing all the writing and the producing and the acting in our mind, and then we finally have the perfect vision, and we just shoot it out into the world. And it's already existing because it's in our mind. And if it's in our mind, it exists and it exists for us. And once we get comfortable with it being existing and existing for us, and we shoot it out into the mind, out into the world, uh, like a projector on a screen, there it is. There it is. So that is what I am saying. You need to practice your manifesting and upgrade the way you are manifesting so that you can bring what you really want in the way you want it into your life. And that's the message for you today. And I hope that's that's what you are happy with. I hope that works for you. <sighs> it was so perfect. Oh, phew. It was so perfect. Oh, you guys, the pressure on that one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And you know what I love about your... I mean, this? it could be better. Do you know what I love about this? This was perfect for you, but I'll bet you if I ask everybody in the chat, was did that does that work for you guys? They're all going to be like throwing hearts or saying yes because anybody listening would love could use that and have that be a beautiful part of their life too. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh, wonderful. Just mm -hmm. so wonderful. Uplifting. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And you are so welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure. That's why I'm here. 
I absolutely um, am so grateful to be of service to you. Um, and I'm here every, I, I didn't say this at the beginning of the show, but I'm going to say it now. I'm here every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. So if you want to call in 845-277-9131 at any of those times and join in, you can. Thank you so much for calling in, love. I'm so grateful um, you did and Thank that- you that I was able to answer that for you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Yes, it helped me. I was feeling very lost and it just really pulled me out of it. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you. Okay, I'm and, gonna keep listening. <laughs> excellent, please do. And until next time, go make miracles. That's all I can say. Okay, online, um, I wanna go to the first question or what I think is the first question, which I think is Kylie. Kylie, when will, when will, and where will I find my forever person? Kylie, put in the chat, how old are you? What's your current age, your age right now? And while you're putting that in, uh, I do, um, yes, Mystic Raven, I do past lives in two separate ways. I do, I, I'm a certified, um, I'm a hypnotherapist. And so I help people go back and see their own past lives. And if they just want to know some past lives, we can tap into that during a session also. So thank you for asking that. Uh, I'm waiting for Kylie to post her age. Um in the chat. And I'm going to tell you something, you guys, if you don't, if I ask you to post something when I'm reading your question and you don't, I'm assuming you're gone and I'm not, I'm not going to answer your question if you're no longer here because why? Um, Rebecca, what do you see for me in love in 2024? Uh, Okay, I just really have to say, sometimes when people say, what do you see? I literally get visions. And I know you are going to have at least one very hot escapade, <laughs> which I can now not unsee. <laughs> and Sal, this is for you. Ding, ding, dong. <laughs> ding, da, ding, 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 dong. And if you listen to Monday's show, you know what that means. Um, I do feel like someone's going to come in um, I hear like a flash and they are going to, you are going to have a lot of fun. I don't know how long that's, um, going to last, but I do see that there's somebody coming in, in like there, it's going to come in hot and heavy. I'm not looking at the duration of that, but I do know it is going to be hot, hot, hitty hot. Hitty, 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 God. Okay, I'm going to go to a caller now. <laughs> I'm going to go to 330. Oh, my goodness. 330, what's your Hi. name? Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Leslie from Mississippi. Hey, Leslie, how can I help you today? Yes. I was wondering if I could get a message on the other side. Who would you like to get that message from? Is there someone specifically? Are you my, talking? My, my uh, niece who passed away oh, just over a month ago. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Um, can I please ask the age she was when she passed? She was 31. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because I hear 18, 18, 18. Now, if I would have said 18, you would have thought I don't have the right person. Whatever happened, it started when she was 18, or there's something that happened when she was 18 that started this, and that was part of whatever happened, okay? So whatever that means for you, and can I please ask her first name, love? Can you repeat that, please? Her first name. What's your niece's first name? Lachey. Lachey? Okay. Yes. 
Thank you so much. And you know what's funny? I was hearing Leslie. Um, so it's a good thing I didn't say that either, but Lachey. Um, so Leslie could be for somebody else, but Lachey. Um, and I just really, it's really important to me to honor and to respect them with their name as well as, you know, just connecting and no, even though I'm psychic and I can get messages, it doesn't mean I'm going to get every piece of information, folks. That's just, that's really not the way every, every intuitive is different. And they get information differently. And I don't want to waste time trying to figure out every little detail. So I, I will ask some questions to help speed it up for everybody, including the loved ones. Okay, Lachey. So the first thing Lachey wants to say is, it was a really wild ride. I'm sorry, maybe I could have done things differently, but it's okay that I didn't. She's also saying that, um, did she? I'm seeing a young, I don't know if this is her as a, a, a child or maybe somebody she, like I'm seeing a, a child, um, I don't know if this is also somebody on the other side, but I see somebody still in diapers in a onesie, a white onesie, but they have um, like black skin and black curly hair. Um, and I don't know, I don't know how this little being um, relates to this, but this is what I'm being shown. So I'm letting you know, um, I am seeing that. And this could be an image from when this this person was young, but maybe they're not that age any longer. It could just be like my baby. This is my baby. Um, the next thing that I'm getting is um, there was no alternative. It it had to happen like this. And um, she's giving me that song. It well, it's a statement, but it, it's like a song, don't cry for me, Argentina, meaning it's okay, I'm okay. Don't don't be like the way I understand that is don't be sad for me, or however you want to understand that that statement, don't cry for me, Argentina. That's up to you. She also wants you to know, uh, she really did care. Um, and she's apologizing that maybe there wasn't so much. <sighs> I'm hearing two things and then I'm going to kind of exp explain it. Too much connection or contact. Maybe it was a little bit either things got really busy and you couldn't connect or contact each other as much or it was a little bit more surface. Um, and Or maybe there is a reason why there couldn't have been as much connection or contact, but whatever it is, that's, that's, she's sorry for that. But you know, you remember when you were young and you remember, she's just saying, you remember, right? It, it was good. Um, oh my God, I'm going to cry. Um, and then she's saying, thank you for, I do not have a pretty cry face, folks. <sighs> thank you for thinking of me. And thank you for the fact that you got one question and you, she's using the word wasted it on me. That's not a waste, baby girl. It's not a waste at all. I'm going to use the term used it on me. And she wants to say, Thank you for connecting. Thank you for caring enough to do that. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, well, I, I hope that was helpful for you. Do you know who that little baby is or that young toddler is? Because the toddler is actually able to walk but still in diapers. I would not know. It could that have been, I don't know if that is somebody, 
I don't know if it's somebody here or somebody on the other side because I see it on my right side in the air. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say at this point. point. Um, that baby could be for somebody else too. When visions come in, they come in. And I, I, if I see it, I say it. If I hear it, I say it. But what I am going to say to you is I hope that this message helped you. I hope it made sense to you. And any parts that didn't make sense, please go back and re-listen to the message. Re-listen to the show or at least this part. Listen to it again. And it might be, you might get more clarity. But did it make sense to you? at least what she was saying. It it does make some sense about the black the the, the, the child with curly black hair. Okay. Okay. Well I'm I'm happy it made some sense and I think if you re-listen to it it might be very very helpful because you might because when i'm talking sometimes when i'm giving messages people don't they hear part of it and then when they re-listen to it they hear other parts and they're like oh yeah that makes sense that makes sense now that the child with the black curly hair and the like darker skin whether that was her as a child or a child I don't know if that child has something to do with yours or somebody else's. The rest of the message should have kind of resonated a little bit with you. But I want you to re-listen to it because sometimes we're listening for one specific thing and we don't get that one specific thing. They don't tell you what you want to hear. They tell you what you need to hear or what they need to say. So please keep that in mind when you re-listen also. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. You're welcome, Tony. I do want to say really very quickly, I, I need to say this. I've had people come into my office and um, do a session with me, and they'll ask me something so ridiculous as what was their favorite color? I don't know. And I don't care. But because I don't answer that specific question. And there's like a hundred other confirmations I give people. They will think that because I didn't give them that one thing, they didn't get what they wanted. And I get that, but I don't like because they stop listening or they and I don't think that's the case with her at all. Not, not at all. I think um, when she re-listens to the message, it's going to make a, a bit more sense to her. But I am going to tell you, when you hear things, be open to what they need to say and how they say it. That's the most important thing. I've had people come through for me that give me messages and I'm like, I don't get that at all. But then... A day later, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, that makes so much sense. Like when my mom passed, I started calling my youngest brother Sweet Pea and he cried and I was like, what's up? And he's like, mom used to call me that. I had no idea about that. I didn't even know that. I've never heard that. And, and it was, you know, we just never know. Okay. I'm going to go to an online question. Uh, I'm going to go to Mika. I'm going to do you next. I'm going to do, um, I think Mystic Raven is next. Do, you, is, do I do past life? Uh, oh, I did answer that. So um, I'm going to do, I think her name is Mika or Nika. And then, and then Mystic Raven. Um, Tony. Are there any love relationship messages for me? Um, I'm going to ask you to put in, are you? Oh, I, I'm going to ask you to put in, are you in a relationship right now? Um, I think your name is Nika, N-N-E-K-A. Are you in a relationship right now? Um 
and then I'll answer that. And when I do that, when I ask you to answer a question again, okay, there she is. Uh, Nika, I'm single. Okay, thank you. Um, here's what I'm hearing. And whatever part of the world you're in, I know we are in fall where I live, the fall season. But whatever part of the world you're in, it could be our fall, or if you're in a different part of the world, what I hear is in the fall, you're going to meet someone. This person is traditional to your needs. I'm just going to say it the way I'm hearing it, love. You're in Texas. Okay, so fall for me too. Okay. Nika, uh, I'm just going to say this the way I'm hearing it. This person is going to be traditional for you or to your needs, meaning culturally maybe the same. And if not the same ethnicity, at least the same belief systems uh, to your needs or your traditions. Okay. Traditions is the word that is coming up. You are going to be unexpectedly surprised by this person. I'm hearing blown away by this person. And you're not going to expect it maybe because of, I don't want to say how they look, but they're Maybe because you think you're going to go for, I, I'm just saying this, I, this is not it at all. I'm just making, like maybe you think you're going to be with a blonde haired, white skinned, blue eyed boy. And this guy is like some, you know, dark haired, olive skinned, whatever. And you're like, the, I, no, I don't, I don't want to be like with somebody who's, whatever, but then this guy blows you away and ends up being everything. Or maybe it's vice versa. You think you're not going to be with the white haired boy, whatever it is, this person's going to blow you away and win you over. It's coming in in the fall. If it's not, now here's what I'm going to say. If it's not this fall, but I think it is, it will definitely be next fall. Now, I feel like something happened in September, Nika, that, that, that is allowing this to come in this fall. And I feel like you will meet this person by November 13th, 15th, if not around that date, definitely by that date. Or maybe just around that date, okay? Um, and I feel like, again, it's going to go fast. And I always say, take your time, take your time. If you have the rest of your life, but sometimes we just can't, right? Sometimes we're just like, I, I feel like this is it, right? And then th what are you going to do? You're going to do the do. So I feel like this person is, is going to come in. They're going to like uh, catch you. Oh, somebody's playing with my hair. Catch you very off guard. They're going to <laughs> they're gonna catch you off guard they're gonna like really and they're heaven 90 seconds ah! they're heaven sent um your grandfather a male is bringing this person in now there is a that more than one person will come in so make sure you're putting them to the test in the beginning that they are traditional for you and your ways and beliefs, okay? Okay, everybody, I will be back. Seconds. Ah, so much stress and pressure when the time starts ticking down. If I didn't get to your call, if I didn't get to you on chat, I apologize, please forgive me. Um, I will be back Monday at noon central. Go create, go make some magic, create miracles, and find a way to be happy in every single day. Thank you.